Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree Marie and today is wash day. A wash, like when was the last time I washed my hair? I think it was about two weeks ago. My hair is just looking really dry. It's feeling dry. It's feeling the need to be refreshed. Something that I've noticed is that my locks, like my locks look like two different types of, of uh, growth and development stages like the top looks more like like baby locks and then we have a mature lock at the end while I was pregnant my hair stopped locking and it did not shed and so I had loose roots for a while I had my my mature lock but it had loose roots that I kept retwisting but it wasn't staying because my hair was not shedding but now that it is shedding it's starting to become a baby lock or it's starting to mat up and form a lock and now my hair looks like two different uh, hair growth stages so I'm happy about that I'm happy that the roots are starting to lock up more now and without much effort at all it does look a little flaky the hair color it looks like it has faded the retwist is still there I just know I need to refresh my hair because it's dry it's flaky and it just feels really crunchy so while baby is sleeping I'm gonna try my best to get some things done for me it's so like listen okay I already talked about that in the last video but it's hard to get things together for mom. I will be using my Ren Pure Originals Argan Oil Shampoo, luxurious shampoo. And then I'm going to moisturize my hair and then I should retwist. I really should. Um, or maybe I will give it a break and do curls. I'm so, so happy with how my roots are coming in now. They are coming in thicker, okay? And I believe that it is mostly because my hair took such a while to lock up after pregnancy. Like it's speeding up the, like it's, it's catching up with all the shedding that was not happening within those last few months. So now I have so much shedding happening all at once and it's becoming a thick lock. Now I know it may kind of condense as it gets mature, more mature and will look more like the rest of my um, mature length, but I'm really happy about that. So that's just something to take notice of if you are expectant, if you are pregnant, your roots will not lock um, and so you may go through a period of time where you have loose roots and they will not lock and you will have to figure out what you're going to do me i just accepted it and continued to retwist even though the retwist wasn't you know staying i'm not like i said i'm not an expert okay let's just wash this hair okay i am taking too long to wash and you guys already know I'm on limited time because baby doesn't sleep very long these days. So let's just go. Come on.
Okay, so I'm fresh out the shower. Oh, it feels so good to just put time in myself. Oh my gosh. Guys, if you're watching this and you have not put time into yourself, please do. It's so good for your mental health and well-being. So yeah, I just washed my hair. I'm just going to allow it to... Ooh, it's very, very wet right now. Obviously, I just washed it, right? <laughs> I don't think that I'm going to... Uh, retwist. I think I'm gonna give it just a little break um, while I play around with curly styles. Like since I've done this bob style, I feel like I've kind of just let go of the curls and just like it just looks like this every day. And I want to play around with it. I want to have fun with this style. I don't want it to become boring. Um, I am happy that I have this style because my locks are able to come in nice and thick and even don't you hate when your hair just drips all over you like I don't want that <laughs> but anyway um yeah I'm gonna allow it to air dry kind of whew, do like a face mask or something yeah you know what I'm gonna do it cuz I deserve okay <laughs> this is a face mask that I've been using now for a few months uh, a few months yeah actually almost a year yes since you guys saw me in our previous um, townhome, I've been using this and I really, really love it. Um, I don't use too many face masks, but when I do use them, I make sure that what I use is natural and of good quality. Alright, so I've got my products that I'm about to use in my hair. Um, I put these products into my hair just because um, I put these products in my hair while it's still um, air drying simply because I feel like when I put them in while it is in this state, it tends to um, moisturize better and actually hold the moisture a lot better than if I were to air dry my hair to a dry crisp and then add in the products it just it kind of goes in better um, as I flow through my wash day so you guys know this is my holy grail uh, there we go Alakay Naturals leave-in conditioning spray and it is the lemongrass scent <sighs> my favorite I cannot express it any more than what I possibly could. My favorite leave-in conditioning spray. And we've got a little something different here, castor oil. Um, this is by Hair Chemist. I love this brand. It is not strictly castor oil. Obviously it is mixed in with other um, oils, but I like the different mixture of oils that they use in this. I don't really like just using castor oil directly to my scalp. So I like the natural blend of um, oils that they have and it smells so much better than regular castor oil. Like regular castor oil stinks. <laughs> so I'm glad to use this. It smells really nice. It kind of has like a fruity smell to it which I really like and it goes well with the lemongrass conditioning spray.
Hey guys, so it is now Wednesday and I'm about to take out my braid out. Um, you guys saw me in the last clip installing my braids. I kept it in for a few days so I'm really excited about what it will look like when I take it out. So before I take out my braid out, I want to make sure to put my face together. You guys know that I'm trying my best to put myself together as a new mom. You guys know also that I'm not a makeup guru. I'm not this person that wears a bunch of makeup every day. For the most part, when you guys see me here on this channel, I wear barely any makeup at all. Maybe I'll put on some lip gloss, maybe some eyebrows, maybe a mascara, eyeliner, something of that sort. But I don't just wear uh, heavy coverage all the time. But when I do, you know, I like to make sure that it looks natural. I'm excited to share today's sponsor, which happens to be Merit Cosmetics. Merit Cosmetics believes in the holistic approach to beauty. They believe that in an oversaturated industry um, filled with products that are not really good for us, the everyday products that we use for our everyday routines, for example, our foundations, our powders, our eyeshadows, our lipsticks, we have ingredients that are not the best for us. I actually learned that some of the ingredients in our everyday uh, beauty skincare routine include hormone interrupting agents, which actually is scary to me as a new mom. I'm still going through my postpartum period and to think that I'm actually putting things on my skin that might be interrupting my hormones and causing me a shift in my hormones is a little scary. So I do want to make sure that everything that I put on my skin is healthy, um, not only makes me look good, but also makes me feel good and feel safe and that I'm not putting things on that might affect me negatively in the long run. So I'm really excited to share all of the products that I received from Merit Cosmetics. Okay, so I just applied the mascara and let me tell you, I am in love already. It feels like butter as I apply this to my lashes. It feels like butter and it just automatically causes my lashes to get into formation <laughs> and curl upward and the um, black color just melted in well with my eyelashes. So I really like what it looks like right now. It, it looks like I put lashes over my lashes. So it really pronounced and embraced the lash that I already have and I really love that. Okay, so my first item here is the Merit Complexion Stick. I have here the shade that is called Sand. It is light for my complexion, so I will be using it as a concealer. And I just love how it glides across my skin. It has an oily consistency and I really like that. This is the Day Glow Highlighting Balm. It is so beautiful and just illuminates your skin so well. I love this item right here. So first, let's take down this braid out style so that I have a style and I can kind of play around with my lip colors and you guys can share which one of them you like best. Yes, so these curls, okay. <laughs> I am in love already. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I am in love. Okay, all over again with this Bob style cut. Now I'm going to use these shade tint tinted oil lipsticks um, for you guys. And you can share which one you like best on me. Now for my favorite items, which happen to be the tinted lip oils. I picked four different colors. I love these oils because it glides really well on my lips. I don't really need to moisturize my lips because this adds moisture to my lips 
and it boosts color by adding a nice layer of tone. So I picked um, different tones that go well with my skin color. They act well as a standing lip gloss if you want to use the lip gloss by itself but it also accentuates whatever lip color you have on underneath so you can use it by itself or you can use it on top of a lip color I love both options and the fact that it comes off so easily so you don't really need to do too much in order to remove it at the end of the day I love this cosmetic line that has been featured in the Allure magazine it is a minimalist beauty line so if you're interested in vegan cruelty free cosmetics this is the perfect line for you so i'm so excited to add this to my um, beauty routine and showing you much more looks from here on out okay so i think it's safe to say that this is mm, my favorite color okay I love this lip color and I could always use a lip liner but for these I don't really feel the need to um, maybe another day I will try it out with the lip liner but I really really like how this looks on my lips it goes so well with my complexion and my hair color and the look of the day <laughs> so I want to say thank you to Merit Cosmetics for sending me all of these beautiful products and adding to my makeup collection I was already looking for great products to include to spru spruce up my look as a mother and you guys have helped me so much I'm so grateful tremendously thank you so much so if any of you are interested in looking at these products and purchasing them maybe for yourself or gift it to a family member or a friend you can check out my description box down below i will have all of the details for how you can purchase your very own uh, lipstick or foundation or dewy glow um, just to have in your collection and add to your beauty routine or like i said gift it to a friend or family member this holiday season so yeah guys, I am in love all over again with my hair. I'm so happy that I did this braid out. It just reminds me of why I did um, this dramatic cut. Um, for a while I was kind of on the fence as far as like whether I made a mistake cutting my hair, but I'm very happy that I did. This looks like a nice like fall color. Like I said, I'm gonna be changing the color very soon, but I'm very happy that I did um, I, I cut my hair and I styled it today. I will be trying these looks much more, okay? <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you for watching this hair vlog. I know it was very lengthy, but I hope that you enjoyed it all. Stay tuned for many more videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys. Bye.